Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We finally passed inspection. We got our electrical inspection pass for three containers, our temporary occupancy permit pass for three containers, and we are good to go. So we're launching miners here. In today's video, we're talking about that, talking about the process, talking about next steps here, getting this farm going. So if you think that's interesting, you know what to do. Hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, go to cryptollc.org. If you're looking to get yourself a, a data center, build a data center on your property, um, or go uh, jump in with us in North Dakota, get yourself a megawatt. Um, or looking for hosting, buying or selling miners, we do all of that at CryptoLLC.org. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so you guys can see we are launching miners here. Um, today's video is giving you guys like an overview of the data center. Um, just talking about uh, the process we had to go through with the elect elect uh, electricians, the inspectors, the county. Um, we had to change out our... Um, disconnect uh, switch it over to a disconnect that has breakers so we had to get these special phase breakers we had to swap it out so we're going to return our old disconnect back to the utility um, swap it in for a new one but that was one of the main hurdles then also the other main hurdle we had was the pdus the pdus have to be fused they have to have a high aic rating for north dakota so we had to swap out our pdu so that's one of the reasons why we only have three containers that are good to go in terms of occupancy permit electrical inspection so we are going to be mining on those and then as we get PDUs coming in, we have more PDUs coming in about 3-4 weeks. So once we swap those out for the other two containers, then we can power those ones on as well. So this is a little step-by-step -step process, but we are good for three containers. That's great news. Um, you guys can see we deploying a whole bunch of miners here. Most of these are S19XP miners. There's a couple of J Pros. Um, in that batch and then uh, for the next container the second uh, container we're going to have a bunch of s21 pros and s21 uh, xps so a lot of high-end miners also being turned on we do have some l9s coming in some l7s too uh, for uh, dogecoin mining uh, going to be plugging those in as well and uh, one of our clients has these um, uh, what are they called ice river ice river miners so we're going to be deploying those as well so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so once we get this whole thing going, we're going to have more information for you guys, more videos, more content, um, you know, describing everything, going through everything, and giving you guys a great overall picture of how this whole entire farm, you know, from start to finish. To watch our previous videos, by the way, where we started off with just nothing, just had bare land. And now we have the, the uh, 8 megawatts coming online. So we wanted to, first of all, of course, uh, say thank you, God, for everything. So we're grateful for that. You know, he made everything happen. I was a lot of stress into going into this data center like uh, you know we we built everything as we were supposed to build it right we built it all correctly but then last minute the, the electrical inspector electrical electrical inspectors like you don't have a a uh, fused disconnect or just a uh, overcurrent protection on the lines go into your transformers which we were under the impression we hit we did have so we had to swap out our disconnect for that that was a that was a mistake our utility company made I uh, had to do that. Then the PDUs, they didn't, they, they don't meet the AIC rating, so I had to swap those out. And again, we had to go back to the manufacturer of the PDUs um, and talk to them. And the, for them, it was crazy because they they really don't deal with anything like this, right? They they don't sell PDUs or fuses because no one requests those. But they did request that in North Dakota. Um, looks like they're a little more strict here, but it is by the NEC code, so we're all good there in terms of the national electrical code, the NEC code. So we passed all of that. But it looks like some other states are more lenient in terms of PDUs. But anyway, we had to get those PDUs in the United States shipped as soon as possible so we can at least get these three containers going. Um, so make sure you guys are subscribed. And by the way, if any of you guys are planning on going to the Bitcoin conference in Las Vegas, I'm going to be out there. So um, if you guys want to talk Bitcoin, want to talk about maybe building a data center out in Texas, Oklahoma, I know there's some great areas over there, as well as North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming. Even Montana area has some areas, has some places over there, some counties that do have a pretty good rate. So we can meet up and talk uh, business, right? Talk about uh, any of those opportunities or if you want to jump in with North Dakota. But that's going to be it for this uh, video here. Just wanted to point, you know, show you guys our data center. It's all going here, all mining away. You know, we're very happy about that. Finally getting this thing going. So um, I hope you guys like it. Until next time, goodbye.